So all the extra worms that Hank didn't eat, which um is all of them, I put them in my worm farm. And if you're like, hey, I didn't know you had a worm farm, it's because I didn't. But I do now. Um, tomato. Yeah. I still need to drill holes in the top, but uh, my dad's not home, so I'm not allowed to do I'm not allowed to use the drill when he's not home, so I'll just have to wait. I just realized I accidentally filmed this up upside up. I, I'm gonna fix that. Okay, it's better now. I made I I did mistake. Anyway, um, I also got these guys. I just got back from a Boy Scout camping trip, and right before we were leaving, why can't I talk? It's been like, this has been happening all day. I like keep messing up talking. I just did it again. I keep messing up talk, speaking. I did it again. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. My, my, my mouth is confused. Anyway, um, I found four best beetles um, right before we were about to leave. And I don't know where they are. Oh, I found one. So, I, I got four of them. I named them Alex, Frankie, Grandpa, and Bulldozer. This is Bulldozer. Pretty cool. They, um, they eat, like, rotting wood. So I have to put some in there for them, but I have to collect some more for them. But, um... Where's the microphone on this? Right here, right? Is it? Can you hear that? Hear that squeaking? That's, um, they do that when they get nervous. So he's nervous, so I'll put him back onto his rotting wood. Yep. I just got done collecting wood. All the best beetles. I took them all out and I kept them in this worms container. Here they are. Now I can introduce them, all of them to you. So this is Grandpa. I named him Grandpa because he has a bunch of dents in his back. And it shows that he's old. So in goes Grandpa. Hope you like your new home. Next is Alex. That's Alex. They're squeaking. Yep, there you go. And then this is Frank. The lightest colored one is Frank. There you go. And I actually haven't done much research. I think, well, like, I've done a lot of research, but I haven't done much research on gender. I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Maybe the red ones are the females, or maybe it's because they just molted. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're going their separate ways and finding homes in the tank. Oh, look, you can see your grandpa. And then the last one is Bulldozer. I call him Dozo for short. If you've read the last Kids on Earth series or seen the Netflix series, the monsters named Dozos. Yeah, that's where I got the inspiration from. That's him. Anyway, and he goes. You're going the wrong way. You are very dumb. Bro, stop squeaking. You won't going off, so just veil. There's Dozo. Grandpa disappeared. And then you can kind of see Alex down there, but he's he's gone. Oh, and I didn't even notice that. Frank is 
Why not? That's not fun. No, that is fun. Yeah. Anyway. Yee. Oh, wait. I gotta miss them. Take the top back off. You're not gonna like this, so if I were you, I would go hide somewhere. Okay. You two. Three. So I'm gonna because you're outside I'm gonna have to do this pretty often because most of this will evaporate. But yeah, I made sure there's a good amount of wood and fungus and all that in here so they have a good amount of food. I told you you were gonna wanna hide. Look how wet you are now. You too. Yes, beetles. In fact, on my description for what this setup is for, you can see best beetles. So, yeah, there they are. So I caught this toad. I think it's a recapture of Joey, and it looks like I'm squeezing him hard, but I'm not. They just puff up when they get scaled. Yeah. Oh, it also might be a recapture of that one that shed when it was on my hands. Oh no, it's probably me. Oh, he's scared now. I'm sorry. You can go. Happy hunting. Bye bye. So, the same way mealworms turn into pupa and then turn into beetles, um, waxworms turn into pupa and then turn into moths. So my wax ones are starting to turn into pupa. You want food. I'm going to play with him because he wants to come out. But, um, yeah. They turn into moths. Just, yeah. I just fed them, so they're eating right now. But, uh, I just cleaned the guppy tank. And I cleaned the top. It's so fresh and clean. Whoa. Let's see if I can find a baby. Mm, let's see you. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's three actually. They're eating two. Yeah, that was doing good. So I was checking on the beetles, and look what I found in the beetle container. That's not a beetle. That is a mealworm, and I never put any mealworms in the beetle container. Meaning, I produced this guy. I mean, like, I've seen hundreds of... What is he doing? Anyway, I've seen hundreds of babies in there. Like, you can see all the tracks made from the babies and such. Hey, that beetle's on his back. Anyway, you can see all the tracks made from the babies. But this is an adult. I produced him. Just amazing. Anyway, dump. Yeah, that's cool. Also, I just fed the Salazar, and he is the eating. You can see that lump in his in his neck. Yes, that is nose. Yeah.
I found this spider in my house. I'm pretty sure it's a wolf spider, but uh, I don't know. Come out. There he is. Go. Whoa, he's fast. Okay, bye bye. I found these two tomato hornworms in my garden. And um, before you guys ask in the comments, no, their spikes are not venomous. So um, these are often bought at pet stores and fed to reptiles, but um, you can also find them out in the nature. Yeah, so when I found them, um, I found them like this in the past too. I found, like last year, I had two ones this size, the bigger one. I had two ones that size. And, um, and you also notice they're not moving that much and they're really weak. And I'll explain why in a sec. So um, anyway, I found them like this last year too. I found them covered, I brushed them all off, but um, see all these little white egg looking things? All those things? Yeah, I thought those were eggs of the tomato hornworms, but then I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. These are caterpillars, they're pretty much babies and babies can't reproduce, huh? So then I looked it up. Turns out they're actually not eggs. They're cocoons of a parasitic wasp the female wasp will lay its eggs inside the skin. See all those little brown dots on them? Yeah, that, that's where the eggs were laid. So the eggs get laid inside the skin and then the larva crawl out of the skin and make cocoons on the hornworms' bodies. Yeah, so that's what all those little white things are. They are not eggs, they are wasp cocoons. And that's also why they're so weak because larvae have been feasting on their insides. So that's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna um, put these guys in the tank and um, feed them a little bit and try to nurse them back to health. I don't know if that's gonna work, but um, if it doesn't, oh well. Um, I think I saw a few of these that are already hatched. Um, I'm gonna try to find a cocoon that already hatched. Also, um, garden update. Um, Catman's doing great. It's um, gigantic. Cucumbers are dead. Yeah, um, the tomatoes are doing fantastic. Um, a little too good, actually. Uh, yeah, so they got so big, they completely bent the chicken wire. See, that's not supposed to be like that. And they suffocated all of the beans. I mean, they're kind of still alive. Actually, there's a bean right there that I have to harvest. But anyway, um, yeah, they crushed the beans and the chicken wire. And they actually did that out here, too. They crushed the outer fence and they are like escaping from the garden. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, so there's also a bunch of tomatoes that I need to harvest. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. Look at them all. And anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a hatch cocoon now. I found one. See how like the top of it is open and there's a little slit cut in it? Yeah, so the wasp has already came out of that one. So, um, a non-hatched one looks like, eh. a non-hatched one looks like that. It's a little cocoon. Um, die, wasp. Die. Anyway, um, I noticed all the, all the, also these two, I'm covering up the camera, I did not even notice that. I don't know how long I've been doing that, but, uh, yeah. Um, these two bean plants started growing with my daisies, I didn't even plant these two. They just started growing on their own. Anyway, um, all the eggs on the big guy had not hatched yet, and that's why you'll notice he still doesn't have much energy, but you realize he's moving a little bit. Whereas the little one, I t it, he is alive. He's just not moving much at all. And that's because all of the cocoons on him, I noticed were like mostly already hatched. So that's why he has a lot less um, strength. So this guy, I'm not even gonna try to nurse back to health. I'm just gonna put him back and release him. Hopefully, hopefully he does okay. But um, yeah, let's go get this guy set up in a tank. I keep realizing I'm not actually filming him. Sorry for the bad camera work in this video. I've just been bad today. Anyway, yeah. I've got my friend here. I got him a tomato and some leaves, and uh, we're gonna set up a sink. So um, I was gonna. This is usually this is 
usually the tank I use for bugs, but I have the best beetles in it right now, so I can't do that. I also really need to clean the front of the tank because you can barely see through it. It's like a mule. You can see me. Anyway, uh, yeah, the best beetles in that one, so we can't put them in here. So I'm gonna put them in my toad slash skink slash small snakes tank, which currently has nothing in it. So I picked some leaves. I'm gonna put them in there. And then... Hard to do this one-handed. Okay. Okay. Dang, this thing needs to be sharpened. <laughs> I did it. Thank you, Mr. Filet Knife. Okay. <laughs> that, that was not a good cut. Anyway, um, put the tomato into there. Now, he has foods. And now, let's add him. I'm going to put him right on top of that tomato. And I don't need to fill up his water bowl because one, he could drown in it, and two, he gets all his um, water from eating tomatoes. Oh, look at that, he's already eating. See how his little mandibles are moving around? Yeah. And this is a weird thing to say, and something I've probably never said before, but I'll show you when he poops. Because um, when they eat tomatoes, their poop is red. So, yay. Can't you guys not wait to see his poop? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, bud. Bye-bye. Have a good time. I haven't checked on the worms in, like, 24 hours, so let's check on them. Just as suspected, they still haven't eaten the tomato yet, and it's getting moldy. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give it like one more day. And um, it's okay that they're not eating the tomato because this is new. I bought this topsoil from Lowe's, and thankfully the topsoil has a bunch of pieces of mulch in it. And um, worms can eat almost anything, including wood. So um, until they find out that there's a tomato meal, they'll just eat the wood. But if I had, I only have 24 worms in here, but um, if I, if this was an actual worm farm, well, I want it to be an actual worm farm, I just haven't bought the worms for it yet. But once I do do that, that tomato would have already been gone by now. Like, if I had 500 or something in there, that tomato would be completely gone by now. But since I only have 24, it's taken them a longer time. Yeah. says I like tomatoes why am I so weird I need friends but uh yeah he's enjoying his tomato and doing good here's an update on that random fog that just showed up one day all right so so watch this I got a mealworm and I got Sullivan he likes mealworms like he's nice to them whatever he'll do he will never eat up Thought you were friends with me, Wolves. You betrayed your friendship. Oh, that was Jerry. You didn't like Jerry? Terry? Got it. What, Terry? T the, the thick one? Okay, let's, let's find the, let's find the thick one. That one? That, that one's Terry? Come here, bruh. Bruh. Alright, this is Terry, right? Alright, cool. You won't eat Terry? You lied to me. Do you not like mealworms? Do you just are you just getting me to feed you? 
you all. Shame on you. Come heal, so gecko. Not Terry. How could you kill a Terry like that? You should be ashamed. Or are you ashamed? If you're not ashamed, then you should be ashamed that you're not ashamed. Did that even make sense to you? It didn't. It didn't make sense to me either. What you doing, mate? Where are you going? You should still be ashamed. You ate Terry. You ate Terry, my guy. He sees the rest of the mule wolves. <laughs> Look at this majestic creature. Oh God, it's dead. Oh God. Got a piece of skin on you. No, I'm not feeding you. I'm removing your skin. Why was that in your mouth? Anyway, what I was saying was, crickets are very majestic. Like, for example, look at that majestic beast. It's... Is that its butt? Did you take its butt off? Do you want its butt? It ate that butt. I'm not sure why it just went blurry. Butt eater. So, um, super worms. <laughs> yeah. Is it called super worms? It's basically like a mealworm, but giant. So yeah, tonight, they're trying to escape. Tonight I'm gonna feed some to my geckos and see what they think. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Also, um, we went to the store. Didn't know those, those are just beans that I harvested today. Um, we went to the store and we got a home wall. Hey, my dear. Hey, bud. Um, I'm gonna get him out. I got him out. He's a lot bigger than the one I found in my garden. But, uh, yeah, that's just his poop. It was in there. Anyway, um, yeah. Tonight, I'm gonna feed this guy to Ace. Because I don't think Sullivan's big enough to eat him yet. They're relatively the same size, but Ace's mouth is a little bigger, so. Anyway, yeah, so tonight, um, I'm gonna give Sullivan, all Sullivan's gonna eat is super warm, so I'm gonna give him four. And then all Ace is gonna eat is just one whole one because they're huge. This is all he needs for one day. But um, he might not eat it because Ace is a picky eater. But um, if you didn't know this, um, my brother actually has a bearded dragon. And bearded dragons love these guys. So if Ace doesn't eat him, I'll just give this guy to my brother's bearded dragon. But uh, yeah. Sullivan is getting two poems tonight. We'll see what he thinks of those. He's never had them before. And um, Ace, maybe we'll eat this whole room tonight too. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, get out the horn one that uh, I caught. Okay, I got him out. Let's check this out. Bam. So this long old turquoise looking one is the store-bought one. See, he's a lot bigger. And this, yeah, like I said, he's really weak because of the parasites. But, um, store bought one is super strong. When I flip him over his back, he flips himself back over. He's really strong, moving around a lot. And then the one I caught that had the parasites, he's weak. He's, uh, he's moving a little bit, but um, you can also see all those little dots on him. That's from the female wasp laying the eggs in him. See, that's what they're supposed to look like. And this is what he looks like. He's also a lot brighter green because um, he's wild and he's been eating actual leaves while this guy is kept in captivity. And what, what the um, breeders feed them is like this brown gunk stuff. So that's why he's a different color because he's been eating brown gunk and he's been eating leaves. That's why there's such a color difference. Okay, let's get, let me just sit you down right there. Let's get the bar back into her home. There you go. Put the top back on. Uh, yeah, so, store-bought, wild caught. There's the difference. 
Um, I opened up the box and this is the brown gunk stuff I was talking about. That's what they feed them in captivity. Yeah. Food. Nyum, nyum. What are you doing? This guy's really big and fat. So I'm kind of an idiot for taking them out of that box because it's 3.50 and I don't feed them until like 8 o'clock at night. So I'm going to have to set up a, what's it called? A tank tank for him. Put a wet paper towel in there, put, put his gunk food in there, and plop. Close, close. So I just brought the whole room up into my room. I'll set him right there for later. Got the super worms too. And uh, yeah, the lights are off right now because I'm gonna turn them on for a sec. I set the timers to like go off in the middle of the day so the tanks get don't get too hot. But uh, I think I just saw Sullivan. Yep, there he is. How you doing, bud? Anyway, uh, yeah. We'll feed them later today. I found a grub. If you don't know what a grub is, it's basically a mealworm. Mealworms are grubs, too. So these, this species of grub, I believe, turns into black leather beetles, I think. And then mealworms turn into mealworm beetles. That's what I have up in my room. And this is the one, these are the, usually the ones you find in the wild. These kind of grubs. They turn into black mealworm beetles. I mean, <laughs> sorry, not black mealworm beetles, black leather beetles. All right, so I probably just confused you a lot. The ones I have are mealworms. They turn into mealworm beetles. These ones you find in the wild. They turn into black leather beetles. Yeah. You can kind of see the resemblance of a mealworm. Okay, bye. So I'm outside, right? And um, I hear all these frogs. I thought they were frogs, um, but I was looking through the grass and I couldn't find any. So I'm like, hey, maybe they're in the ground. So then I get out a shovel, I dig up the ground, and I don't find any frogs. It's just a mole cricket. If you don't know what a mole cricket is, it's this thing. They look like that. They have little diggy thingies. Some people keep them as pets. Like weird people, the same people who keep like tarantulas as pets. Not that those not that tarantulas are weird, but these guys are. Look look at him, he's so weird. Anyway, they're called mole crickets because they dig. Go figure. Um Look at the little diggy things. Those little spikes right there. Those are attached to his hands and he uses those as, he uses those to dig. It's very soft. Feels like velvet. Stabbed him with his little spiky things. He doesn't really look like a cricket, but I guess he is. Okay, bye. See ya. Alright, it's time to see if my geckos like super worms and horn worms. But first, look! My beetles produced another mealworm. I mean, like I said, they've produced like a hundred, but... Here's a full-grown one. Yeah! So this is what we're gonna do. Um. So Sullivan is very vicious and will probably eat anything you put in front of his face. 
Ace is a picky eater but has a bigger mouth. So we're going to try to give it to Ace first. And if he doesn't want it, then we're going to give it to Sullivan. And if he doesn't want it, we'll give it to my brother's bearded dragon. Who, by the way, his my brother's bearded dragon's name is Drago. And also, um, yesterday, my brother said to me, Hey, do you want Drago? And I'm like, hm, yeah. Yeah, that was the whole conversation. Anyway, um, yeah, so on Saturday, his tank is moving in to my room. It's going to go right there. Yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's give them their foods. Um, Ace is ready, so, uh, and if, if Ace doesn't eat the mealworm, uh, we'll give him super worms. And if he doesn't eat those, there's always wax worms and horn worms that we can give him. Ugh, I can't open this thing, too. Okay, I opened it. Um, there he is. Mind if I grab you? I don't think Ace is gonna eat him, but maybe he'll surprise me. Maybe he'll eat him. I'm gonna try to like hand feed it to him first, and if he doesn't want it, we'll talk and feed it. Alright, Ace. Also, he might not like the horn on its tail, so, uh, we'll see. You want it? It's a food. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he bit it, but then it started moving, and he's like, eh, demon. Okay, he's got it. Okay, he does. He's fighting it. Yeah, fight him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the model. Oh my. Oh, he sped it up. Ew, its face is all chewed up. It's covered in. Covered in coconut fiber. Hey, you wanna try to kill him again? Come on, bite him. Eat him up. And if you're thinking this horn one is way too big for a gecko of this size. Um, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Devour him. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't look like the horn is bothering him. <laughs> He's devouring that thing. Look at him go. <laughs> I really didn't think he was going to eat it, but... <laughs> He's having a little trouble swallowing it. Um, what's, what, what, why, why is he going in there? You do, you, you, you got it? You want some help? I can help you push it down. Alright, you got it down. <laughs> Did you like that?
Okay, well. Ace is fed. <laughs> Move your tail, buddy. I don't want to squish it. I, I think it's still in his throat a tiny bit. So, um, yeah. Let's go feed Sullivan and, um, see if you like super worms. And I'll check back in with Ace in a minute. So I had to get him out behind the from behind the styrofoam because he always hangs out back there and he's trying to get away. So, so he'll eat out of his tank. I was about to say, um, let's feed him out of his tank. But um, he's moving pretty fast, so maybe he wants to go back in. But um, I can't open his tank with one hand, so enjoy this amazing shot of the carpet. Anyway, um, so Ace will only eat in his cage, but Sullivan will eat in and out of his cage. He's a beautiful lizard. Anyway, um, into the tank you go. And uh, some worms. Let's see if you like some. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. Oh my god, the time to escape. So usually I give him like four mealworms or something. So I'm thinking two or three superworms. Just for the video's sake, we're gonna give him three. Um. Alright, we got all three. Put him in the cup. And, uh, here we go. Behind. He's behind. He's, he's behind. He's, he, there he is. Where my arm? Come on, bud. Come on. Come on out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Here he is. Let's just grab the super warm. Okay, I got one. Got a super warm. It's be like I said earlier, it's basically just a giant meal warm. Cannot get a good camera shot there, but um, you like that? You you, you dropped it. Did you just you bite you? He's biting the plant. I mean, I call it a plant. It's a fake plant, but like, oh my god, he he. See that? Those are mealworm guts. He exploded it. Are you still biting that plant? Here, here here's the mealworm. I mean, not mealworm. Superworm. Okay, maybe I will only give him two, because these are actually pretty big. Um, alright. Yeah, I'm only going to give him two. I don't want him to get too fat. Here, right here. He keeps thinking that plant is food. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. He still looks hungry. I'll just feed him a little less next time I feed him. Oh yeah, he's still very much hungry. Uh-oh. <laughs> looks like the superworm was grabbing the side of his face a little bit, but... You showed that super warm who's boss, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like he has any injuries, so. That's nice, right? Yeah. Okay, um, Ace, Ace went back into his hide, but Ace definitely approved of the hornworms. I mean, well, I only gave him one, so he definitely approved of the hornworm. And Sullivan definitely approved of the super worms. I don't know if you hear that chirping, but, um, by the way, there's Moby. Moby's doing good, but, um, that chirping is from Orange. Um, I don't know if you can see him right there. There we go. There's my other frog. His name's Orange. Yeah, that was him chirping. It might have just been a cricket, but I'm pretty sure it was coming from... Yeah, it's him. I think. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm up. Poke him so now he's scaled and in the water. 
And now if the chirping continues, we know it wasn't him. The chirping stopped, so I think it was him. It might have just been a cricket though. It was probably just a cricket, but who knows. I also found this guy. That stuff is poo-poo. He got scaled and he pooed on me. But um, this is a species of centipede. I forget what the species is called. Oh, the chirping is continuing. Okay, so I guess it was just a cricket, but um. So, it's a pretty good sized centipede too. Um. Oh, wait, no, sorry, it's a millipede, not a centipede. Um, oh, is it a centipede? I'm pretty sure it's a millipede, but anyway, um. Oh, it looks like he got attacked by a bird or something. His guts are coming out of his booty, and his, it doesn't look like his booty is walking. Looks like he got injured, but, um. Also looks like he might have a little injury on his head right there. Yeah. Probably got attacked by a bird or something. But I'll pop up a picture on the screen of what they usually look like. Bam! Yeah, that's what they usually look like, but um, this guy's injured. Also, yeah, um, I don't know why, but a lot of animals musk. He does too. And his musk smells like cherries. Not even kidding. If you ever catch one of these guys, smell it. That's a really th weird thing to say, but do. It, it smells like cherries. It's it's really weird. Yeah. I'm gonna see if Moby will let me say hi. Hey Moby, how's it going? Moby, it's okay. Look how much he's grown. If you go back in my channel, you'll find a video that's, I think it's called, My Frog Eats a Cricket. Anyway, you can see how big Moby is in that video and Look how big he is now. He's getting to be a full-sized bullfrog. He's gonna be huge one day. Also, there's a cicada here. I don't... Are you alive? Yep, he's alive, I think. All that steam is from my breath. It's really cold today. Oh yeah, barely alive cicada.